All right, what is up, guys? It is Dazed Revs, Revs, whatever you would like to call me. Um, and I'm going to be bringing you another After Effects tutorial. Um, this one is a CC Lens Burst. Shut up, phone. CC Lens Burst type uh, tutorial, and I have the clips that I'm going to use right here. Uh, it's my clip. I got it a while back ago couple of months probably I have a full pack of clips and they're uh, they're all old and not the best I just get clips and I never do anything with them but it's just a simple 360 like hard scope cross map and then uh, I just decided to put some twixter on it to uh, kind of show like a build up like you can use this for OCEs so I, I have a tutorial on Twixter so you can just watch that and then put that on the clip for the OCE and then uh, you can edit or whatever so I'm gonna grab the, grab the Twixter uh, file and then drag it into After Effects my computer's acting really slow tonight this is weird but um yeah, I'm I'm uh, doing this late at night, so my mom might come in and tell me good night. But uh, what you want to do now is once you have your clip dragged in, you want to drag it on the new composition button, and then you have your clip right here. And what you want to do is uh, you want to find the spot where I can find it, where you shoot the guy, or you hit him, or where you want the CC lens thing to take place so I'm gonna go right as the shot takes place so should be right there right here that's my bullet alright so what we're gonna do here is gonna hit shift and then one which places a marker so you can uh, go back to that keyframe whenever and then you want to hit Control C, then Control V on your keyboard, and that makes two masks. Or not two masks, that makes two uh, duplicate layers. And then on this one, you want to, to get that burst effect, you want to have a different color correction or a color correction. And uh, so I'm going to find a color correction right now. Just. Let me do this right quick. <clears throat> Let's see. I might want to uh, get off of just the black scope and then see how the color correction looks. There we go. I'll look right there. And then uh, we'll, we'll just pick a simple one right now. Let's see. No, not that one. Um, let's see. We'll just use this one because this is a big like burst effect. So we'll use we'll use this color correction. So we want to go from here and then burst into that color correction. So what we want to do is go to effects again on the top layer, the also the layer that has the uh, color correction on it. You don't want to add anything to the bottom layer. You just want to add the color correction to the top layer. And then you want to go to uh, effects and then distort CC lens and then as you'll see it's all weird but you, what you want to do is hit the uh, hold on you want to drag the size down to zero shut up phone and then uh, come over here to the shot and then hit the keyframe and then go forward about a second a second and a half and then bring the size up all the way. So if I, if, if you look, uh, you have the original clip, original clip, original clip, original clip, and it comes over here, and then you shoot, and then it comes up, and then bloom. It's like a nice burst effect. 
Gonna try and get a RAM preview going here. Uh, I think I'll just do it. Wow. Well, I think I'll just do it of this shot around right here. And then drop this down to third. That way it can render faster. So, um, it's basically all it is is just keyframing and getting the effects on there. Uh, nothing really too special. Um, really, the most special thing about it is the color correction. Uh, but other than that, you can use this for uh, almost anything. Shots. Uh, if you want to just add a simple color correction or if you're doing like a cool intro it's cool for anything so um I'll come back to you guys when this is done rendering alright guys we are back and I just finished uh, previewing so I'll go ahead and play the preview for you guys to see it see you zoom in and it shoots and then blam so it looks pretty good uh, you could also change the uh, keyframes to smaller. I used, I believe, uh, let's see, CC lens. I went from 830 to 10. Yeah, I used uh, a second or a second and a half to get the uh, to get that effect. If you want it to spread out faster, you would just go to uh, a second or half a second. But doing it too fast makes it look kind of weird. So um, I'll have the original clip, then the original Twixter clip, and then the Twixter clip with this on it at the end of the video. So I hope you liked it and liked it. Like it if you did like it, favorite it. If that way you could uh, come back to this and then all that other kind of stuff, you know. And then subscribe to my channel if you haven't for more tutorials like this and please request any tutorials that you might want to see um, I know a lot about all this stuff and it comes easy to me and I like doing these tutorials they're easy so yeah guys I'll talk to you later peace this has been Deja